After foot and ankle surgery, typically there's a period of immobilization and non-weight bearing that the patient will have to undergo. Once that's completed, we will send them to physical therapy to try to get the mobility and the endurance back within the foot and ankle. If they've been non-weight bearing for a period of time, we like to progress that slowly. So we'll typically start at 25% body weight and increase that by 25% every two to three days. Once they're fully weight bearing, usually um, while being protected in a boot, then we'll progress to regular weight bearing in a shoe, start strengthening and working on uh, gait training as well as uh, stability training within the foot and ankle, all of this being supervised by a physical therapist that will also give them exercises to be performing at home as well. The amount of time that a patient attends physical therapy is dependent on multiple factors. One of those is their pre-surgical condition. So some people were in excellent physical health before surgery. Some people were already a little bit deconditioned and take a little bit longer to rehabilitate. I'd say most patients after foot and ankle surgery attend at least six weeks of physical therapy, but it's not unusual for patients to need up to six months of physical therapy after surgery. So after foot and ankle surgery, it typically takes about six to eight weeks before we'll let the patient start weight bearing, and that's because that's how long it takes for bones to heal. So even if um, you think it was a kind of minor surgery, it's just a bunion or it's just a toe deformity, because bones take six to eight weeks to heal and that's just biology, that's how long we have to allow for that process to occur. There are some reasons that we would prolong the non-weight bearing period. Usually we will take x-rays at the office visit where we decide to start initiating weight bearing and we will look for signs of bony healing. So if that's been delayed or if the injury was bad enough that we think we'd like to wait a little bit longer, sometimes we do have to extend that. For example, after a calcaneus fracture, it's routine to be non-weight bearing for three months after surgery just because of the nature of the bone. Things that patients can control that can slow bone healing would be diabetes control. So a poorly controlled blood sugar will actually slow the bone healing, as well as nicotine status. Nicotine is a vasoconstrictor, meaning it tightens the blood vessels. So it's like taking an eight lane highway and making it a one lane country road where all of the nutrients and healing elements that we that the blood vessels and blood cells carry are now traveling on this tiny little one lane road to try to get there. So the, the bones and the soft tissues heal much more slowly in those that are smokers.